Hi, today we are continuing to talk about similarities and differences between the geographical regions in Canada. And today we're focusing on the differences in climate. Um, the question we want to ask is this. What factors affect the different climates across Canada's geographical regions? And if you've spent time looking at a map of Canada, you see how vast Canada is. And it's probably expected that there are a lot of differences between the geographical regions. And one that we're focusing on is the climate. There are three um, factors that impact climate. And we're going, we've looked at latitude, and today we're going to look at bodies of water. So to do that, I need to do some drawing on the board, and I'm gonna use my cheat sheets here to help me out. And what, what I did first was I tried to find two cities that are fairly similar um, uh, with their latitude. So I picked the cities of Victoria. I'll write these up here, Victoria, BC. And I also looked at uh, Winnipeg. Manitoba. So these two cities are quite similar in their lines of latitude. So that wasn't really determining why they have such a different climate. Um, so then I looked a little deeper and what I saw was this. Let's kind of pretend Winnipeg and Manitoba, or Winnipeg and Manitoba, Victoria and Winnipeg. And I'm gonna draw a quick little diagram here um, and they're smushed together a little bit. Okay, so let's say this is the land and this is a large body of water. Now, when I say large body of water, I don't mean a river or a lake. I mean something like the Hudson's Bay or the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean. So these are large bodies of water. Now what we know, what scientists have discovered about bodies of water is that because the volume is so big, it takes a very long time for oceans, for their temperature to rise. And it also, the same way, it takes a very long time for ocean temperatures to, to go down. So ocean temperatures stay very similar for a very long period of time. Because the temperature of the bodies of water don't change that often, it impacts cities that are close to them. So let's put um, Victoria, BC here. So let's... Victoria is here. And we'll put Winnipeg over here. Okay. Victoria is obviously very close to a large body of water. It's close to the Pacific Ocean. And I did a little bit of digging. So um, the average temperature in the summer for Victoria is around 20 degrees Celsius. The average temperature for um, a winter is about 8 degrees Celsius. It's not bad. It's not super hot, but definitely not super cold. Then I looked at Winnipeg. So the average temperature for Winnipeg is about 27 degrees in the summer. And for the winter, is about minus 18 degrees Celsius. So the hottest, or the, the most of uh, Winnipeg summer is quite warm, and, but their winter is also quite cold. Whereas Victoria, there's, li there's less difference between a winter temperature and a summer temperature. So why is this happening? Well, this is what's happening. Cities that are close to a body of water, we call them coastal. they're on the coast, they're close to a large body of water. Cities that are further away from large bodies of water are inland. So they're further away from the big body of water. What's happening is that the body of water, because it stays very similar, the temperature of the body of water stays similar, um, the, the wind that comes off of the large body of water directly impacts these coastal cities, which keeps their summer quite cool, but it also keeps their winter quite warm. 
Now, this same wind loses any of its temperature effects by the time it reaches inland. And so there's something else going on here why Winnipeg has a very warm summer and a cold winter. So they're the same lines of latitude, so it's nothing about where they are from the equator. They, these two cities are impacted by bodies of water. The further away you are from a body of water, the more fluctuation you have in your temperature, where the closer you are, the less fluctuation and, the, and kind of stays the same for a lot longer. So you have to decide. Would you want to live closer to a large body of water where maybe your summer doesn't get as warm, but your winters are quite nice? Or would you be willing to move further inland where the summers get warm, but you kind of pay the price in the winter time? And that would be another factor that affects the different climates in Canada.